Guys, look at my girl. Getting ready. We're about to go out to eat. Right, baby? Yes. We don't know where we're going, but as she's getting ready, has a little vanity mirror there. Why is she watching Survivor, bro? <laughs> Survivor, bro. Oh. The bootleg one. And, and we got the Pringles right here on the side. Survivor. This is my look. I like that. Look at the look. You got like a little, you got a little bun up top. <laughs> Who greased your scalp last night? You did. You damn right. Looking good, girl. <laughs> look at that scalp looking moist. <laughs> All right, guys. Here's your boy's fit today. I keep him with th uh, the Thriller glove right here. And yeah, man, uh, jacket is Zara. Um, shirt under here is, I believe, Top Man. Pants are H&M. Hat is Brixton. And the face is swag. Let's go. Baby? One minute. You ready to come and eat? Yes. You ready to come and eat? Let's go. Guys, once again, I don't know why, but our Ubers never seem to be able to come to our location. It's weird, right? Mm -hmm. It's weird. Anyways, we're heading to a place called the Harbor Mall. La, La Harbor Mall? Hella excited. This mall is dope. Probably the nicest mall here in Merida, would you say? I don't know. I've never been in there. Guys, what am I going to do with my girl? Mm -hmm. Anyways, head it off now. Yeah, that's us. Yep. <laughs> Honeybird. All right, guys, we just arrived here to the Harbor Mall. This place is beautiful. Across the street, Oddly enough, is a Texas Roadhouse, which I only have ever seen in Texas, but they have one here in Merida, literally across the street. This place is in close proximity to Costco. Uh, from the Costco vlog you guys seen, it's almost in walking distance. So yeah, we're about to walk into this mall right now. We've never been in here, only heard great things, and we're eating dinner tonight at a place called... Profinio. Or Profinio, which isn't, uh, it's not Italian food. It's, uh, it's, it's Mexican. But it's not Italian. I don't know why they call it Profino. Whatever. They have that here, but they don't have everything that we have in the U.S. because some stuff can't be sold here that's sold in the U.S. So it's interesting. Babe, so they don't have a lot of stuff here because it doesn't ship to Mexico. Correct, because the regulations are different here than in the U.S. Right, regulations are different here than in the U.S. So, do your research before you come. Otherwise, you don't need to bring makeup because they have an entire Sephora. Just and specific look, items. Specific things, like I would say skin skincare specifically. Right. Is a little tricky. Baby, you are in love. Let's do a sheet mask. Tonight. What is this Glam Glow? Glam Glow, I don't know where y'all at, but y'all better be sponsoring these videos pretty soon. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that buttery sh shot. Look at that. All right, guys. So when you come to Merida, this is the mall to be. Like, dead serious. This is our speed. It's nice. It's new. There's great restaurants, high-end shopping. It's in a great area. Uh, yeah, guys, the Harbor Mall. Baby Lips found her Sephora. Like, the restaurants here are like five-star restaurants there's bars there's coffee shops like this is this this is the type of place we would hang out in or go shopping in if we were back home in los angeles right yeah yeah really nice so you guys definitely check this out so far i would i would go as far as saying this is our this is our favorite mall wouldn't you say 
I would say that. Yes. Yeah, definitely our favorite mall. Come check it out. So as soon as we got done shopping, we went outside. This mall is an entire vibe, with vendors renting electric sailboats to local kids to sail them in the main fountain. A barrage of coffee shops and new restaurants being built lends itself to an upscale family retreat. They've created something for everyone. There's even a zip line above the fountain for family enjoyment. We didn't want to leave, but it was time for dinner. smoky, almost a smoky salt on there. Cheers, citizens. This is for you. Wow. Ooh, that's strong. So when you put the shot in there, you have to blend it. <laughs> I got pure shot right now. But, but. that's delicious. Uh, it's peppers and it's minced up with ribeye meat. You heard that ribeye steak meat, guys. Your boy about to go all the way in. Oh wow. Cheesy, rich, creamy, savory from the ribeye. Bruh. Outside of citrus. And sweet, my palate is completely 
occupied with flavor right now. I mean, oh, and that's because they gave me a lime and I'm supposed to hit it with a lime. Let me go ahead and hit it. I feel like that's the part that I missed, but phenomenal. Great, rich, sweet, savory, texturally pleasing. This is a win. Guys, look at that. All right, take it home. Good guac. Good guac. There we go. Mexico is undefeated in guacamole. Mexico is undefeated in guac. <laughs> you remember the song? People don't even know what Javier's is, but yes. Yeah. If you know, if you know. Wow. So I got the ribeye tacos. Yes, you heard me right. This is ribeye meat and these tacos. You see that? Now watch. You damn right. We love lives around here. the softest meat in a taco I've ever. Smoky flavor, nice beef, textually the tortillas, set this off with the lime, takes it on a whole different level. than Disneyland? They're different. They're different? Yeah. I respect that. And that is the white dip. Let's go. That slaps.
this and you take a half a sip of this, wish your boy luck. Okay. That's not bad. I thought this was gonna hit a lot more. It's smooth, it's good. And the tomato juice knocks the edge off. So, Paquito. <laughs> Am I good? <laughs> That's it. So we are constantly asked how we feel going out during a pandemic. This place did a phenomenal job cleaning all of the tables and seats as soon as people were coming or going. They even had a machine that took your temperature and sprayed you with antibacterial spray as you walked into the establishment. These measures make us feel really safe. Guys, look at the wild dogs. You they, see them? They are friends. Yeah, and there's another one in the back. Look They're at them. They're on their way to the next dog club. Yeah. Wild dogs, ladies and gents. Meridia, the Yucatan is full of them. All right, guys, here goes our Uber right here. I just got done taking a shower and I thought I would close the vlog for you guys today while I do my skincare routine. Um, dinner was fabulous. I know you guys saw the clips and let me just tell you, the clips don't even do it justice. That place was so fun and dinner was the food wasn't the best food we've had in Meridia. I'll tell you guys that. However, it's definitely worth going there just for the atmosphere because it was really, really fun. Um, the mariachi band was my absolute favorite part of the whole night. Um, but I love mariachis. I, I actually decided for sure that Dust and I are going to have mariachi at our wedding. So there you go specifically a trumpet player and a violin player because they were my favorites um so i just wanted to come on here and just say what's up because i don't often i feel like i don't often like get to have these kind of conversations with you guys on the vlog um and i just you know i was feeling it tonight and i just was like you know what let me just set aside some time and talk to the peeps so that's what we're doing um so, hold on one second, guys. Okay, I'm back. So, every I I before we left, I bought all this stuff from Junk Elephant. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's like a skincare. Um, and I just started using it. I know, like, just now. But let me just tell you, it took me a while to, like, find my footing here. And I feel like I'm just now getting, like, feeling like I'm getting settled and... And now we only have like a week left to be here and then we're gonna go somewhere else. Um, by the way, if you ever wanna like help us plan where we're going, 
or give us suggestions about where we're going, let me say that, definitely do that because we are just kind of winging it, let me tell you. Like, there's not a lot of premeditated thought going into any of this. So, feel free to offer an opinion. Oh crap, I didn't mean to use this, whatever. Does it matter? No. Skincare is like, I don't know what it's like, but this doesn't matter. If tomorrow I'm not on the vlog at all, you'll know that it's because my face exploded. Um, anyway, um, totally don't even remember what I was, where I was going with that, but that's okay. <clears throat> I'm just now feeling super settled and I actually love this Airbnb more than the first one. There's like, I don't know, I can't, it's just a different vibe in here and it's so comfortable and I love it. So I don't know what that's worth to you guys, but I really love this one more. Um, anyway, we're in our last like week and a half-ish here. And it's crazy because I feel like we just got here. Like it's crazy how fast the time is going by. Um, but I'm figuring things out as we go and like as we've spent time here like I've definitely kind of found my footing a little bit and so I think I'm going to reorganize some stuff um before we leave to go to our next one just to make this a little bit easier for us because I think that the more we go along it'll just get a little bit easier and a little bit easier so that's my plan um anyway how are you guys I hope everybody's doing well I hope everybody's families are good um, I hope everybody's staying healthy. I can't believe that, like, we're still in this whatever you want to call it. I just can't believe it. So it's still, like, so surreal to me that this is, like, normal life now. Um, I really hope my face doesn't explode because I definitely put a lot of different things on that I wasn't supposed to put on it or whatever. Um, anyway, you guys... I don't really know what this was, but it was our special time together. So I hope it counts for something. You guys live life beautifully with no regrets. I'm about to go and watch Survivor. I'm still watching it. I'm on season two. I just watched the episode where they did the merge and I'm just hooked. Okay, like honestly, maybe after we're done traveling i'm gonna try to get on survivor like if they have like a couple's edition or something oh my god how dope would that be if me and dustin went on survivor together i would be obsessed anyway um that's what i'm about to do watch survivor and pack it in for the night because i'm tired i don't know what tomorrow will bring but it'll bring some sort of a new adventure i think okay here's something that we haven't done yet is discover the coffee scene so I think that's what I wanted one of the things that I want to do um, next week is just identify like coffee in Meridia like wonderful coffee because if you guys did not know this about me the whole entire time we were on um, quarantine and when I say the whole time I mean every day I started me and Dustin's day with coffee I got like one of those Breville espresso makers and um, I got really good at making coffee. Like really, I, I like Starbucks who just come to my house. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so before we left, I detoxed us off of coffee because if you're not a coffee drinker, you can't just drink coffee every day for like 10 months and then just wake up the next day and not drink it. Like, trust me, you cannot do that. So I detoxed us off before we left so that it wouldn't be a problem. But now I'm, you know, I, I don't have like coffee withdrawals or anything, but like I miss having coffee every day. So I think next week I'm going to find some good coffee. Anyway, live life beautifully with no regrets. And until tomorrow, guys, have a sweet night. Dream beautiful, fun things. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. <music>